Hey, we, in this video we're going to look how to um, complete the square when the number in front of x squared is in fact uh, negative, like this one is minus 2, minus 2. So write minus 2x squared minus 3x plus 4 in the form y is equal to a, brackets x minus h all squared plus k, and then hence solve the equation minus 2x squared minus 3x plus 4 is equal to 0. If it says hence, you have to use the method of the first part of the question. So, in order to do that, let's write that out. So, what y is equal to minus 2x squared minus 3x plus 4. So, you could proceed as follows. You look up the number in front of the x squared and factorise it out of the first two terms only. So, factorise out minus 2. Then we get y is equal to minus 2x squared. Now, when we take out minus 2 here, this sign here will change to a plus and then the 3 will become 3 over 2x plus 4. Let's just check that by multiplying back in. Minus 2 times 2x gives me minus 2x squared. Minus 2 times 3 over 2 is going to give me minus 3. The 2s the will cancel out and the sign obviously will change. Right, now we're in a position where we can complete the square. So we look at this term here and we take half of that. Half of 3 over 2 is 3 over 4. So you have to have your wits about fractions with you. So we get minus 2x plus 3 over 4 all squared. We've still got the plus 4, but in doing this process, we've added something in. Now, one way to find out is just to expand the first part of this here. So if we expand minus 2 brackets x plus 3 over 4 squared, will give me minus 2, and then we expand using x squared plus b squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. We're going to get x squared, 2 lots of 3 over, t uh, 3 over 4, which becomes 3 over 2, lots of x, plus b squared, so it's going to be 9 over 16. 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16. Then multiplying through by minus 2, we get minus 2x squared, then the, minus the sign will change to become a negative, and then a minus 2 and this 2 will cancel, so we get minus 3x, and then we're going to get plus 9 over 8, because uh, 2 divided by 16 is 1 uh, one eighth. So the 16 will become 8, and the 2 will cancel out. Right, so in doing this process, we've actually added in, or subtracted, 9 over 8. So if we subtracted 9 over 8, over here we have to add 9 over 8. Um, another way to work out what this is, because this is the important thing, is just to do 3 squared, uh, which is 9, 4 squared, which is 16, and then just multiply it by minus 2, and that will give you that number directly. But by doing this also, you can correct, because these two terms should be the same as the first two terms up here. So... We must add, now add 9 over 8. So in here, I'm now going to add 9 over 8. It's the opposite of what we did here. So this now becomes y is equal to minus 2x, 3 over 4 squared. Common denominator would be 8. So 4 eighths are 32 over 8 plus 9 over 8. Now, for, So that will become minus 2x plus 3 all squared. 32 plus 9 is 41 over 8. So it's now in the correct format. y is equal to a brackets x minus h squared plus k. Well, a is minus 2, h is minus 3 over 4, because it says minus h is the correct format, and k is 41 over 8. So the vertex is given by hk, so h is 3 over 4, so the, sorry, h is minus 3 over 4, it's very important, it's minus 3 over 4, and k is 41 over 8. This will, because this is negative, this is actually a maximum, so that this graph goes this way round. Right, so it gives the vertex. Right, we now have to use this idea now to solve the equation minus 2x squared minus 3x plus 4 is equal to 0. So rewriting it using what we just got, so minus 2 brackets x plus 3 over 4 squared plus 41 over 8 is equal to 0. Take minus 41 over 8 from both sides, so we get minus 2x plus 3 over 4 squared on this side, and then on this side we're going to get minus 41 over 8. Next thing to do is to divide by the minus 2, 
and dividing by minus 2 will make this become x plus 3 over 4 squared, a minus divided by a minus is uh, positive, and this will become 41 over 16. So 41 over 8 divided by 2 is the same as 41 over 8 times a half. All right, so you have to be quite good at fractions for this. Notice the change of sign is now positive, because it would have to be, because the next step would be to take the square root of both sides. So take the square root of this sign, we just get x plus 3 over 4, and when we take the square root, we're going to get the square root plus or minus the square root of 41, and the square root of 16 is actually 4, so we'll just write that as 4. Then we take 3 over 4 from both sides, so we get uh, x is equal to minus 3 over 4 plus or minus the square root of 41 over 4. Now this is what's known as the exact solutions. Solutions because there's two of them. So either x is equal to minus 3 minus root 41 over 4. And if we go to do this on a calculator, it's a good idea to put these the top bit into brackets. If you've got one of these newer calculators, then you can uh, uh, get not use uh, brackets by using the fraction button and putting the, the values in that way if you've got a natural display calculator. And working that on our calculator we get minus 2.35078 which gives me minus 2.35 or x is equal to minus 3 plus 41 square root of 41 over 4. Again the brackets in there for the calculator. If you've got these replay buttons then just replay to this point and change that sign to a plus. So write down the full calculator value 0 0.8078 dot 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 and that gives an answer of 0 0.85. So x is equal to minus 2.35 or x is equal to 0 0.85. These answers will be given to two decimal places. Okay so this has been a video to show you how to complete the square when a is negative and then use your result in order to solve the quadratic uh, solve solve the quadratic equation when it's equal to zero. I hope you have understood, and I thank you very much for watching.